Loss of smell has been identified as one of the symptoms of the novel coronavirus or COVID-19, especially in mild and moderate cases. This loss of smell may possibly be due to the SARS-CoV-2 virus infecting the inner lining of the nasal cavity. People with an impaired sense of smell also report loss of flavor in food and drinks that they consume because the senses of smell and taste are interlinked. Fever has been identified as a number one symptom in 88% of cases and dry cough at 68%. 38% of cases have reported fatigue as a symptom along with fever and dry cough. In South Korea, 30% of patients reported loss of smell. In Germany, two in three cases had confirmed loss of smell as a symptom of COVID-19. Thus, loss of smell or taste is being added as a screening tool for COVID-19 infection, according to the recommendations of American Academy of Otolaryngology, Head and Neck Surgery, and ENT UK. So, if you cannot get the smell of coffee brewing or peeling oranges, is that coronavirus? The answer is no. Not everyone who loses their sense of smell has coronavirus. The loss of smell called anosmia, or taste loss, medically termed as dyscursia, can be related to many other conditions, as well, like neurogenerative diseases, head trauma, and commonly in cases of cold and flu. In almost 40% of cases of anosmia, or loss of smell, it is caused due to a viral infection of the nasal airways, caused by cold, flu or sinusitis. In case of cold or flu, the nose is blocked, so you lose some sense of smell, because you cannot get the air which carries these smells into your nostrils. But in case of coronavirus, the loss of smell is sudden, because the virus has a tendency to attack directly at the olfactory nerve between the eyes at the roof of the nose. Since this olfactory nerve is not covered with protective tissue, the virus strikes it directly, which leads to inflammation and the blocking of odorous signals from reaching the brain. So, in case of coronavirus, if you have lost your sense of smell suddenly and there is no medical reason to back it up, you may isolate yourself and quarantine yourself for 14 days, so that the virus doesn't spread to other people. If at all, you have to go out, do so wearing a face mask. Remember, loss of smell may come before other symptoms like fever and dry cough, or they may appear in conjunction with these symptoms, there is no predictive timeline. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel, Health Destination. Stay tuned for more videos in our series, Let's Beat COVID-19. Press the bell button near the subscribe button so that you get to see our new videos first.